Okay, thanks very much. And Omar Sheck joins me now to, to talk about Ryan Braun, and it's his first time he's actually talked about the situation since the suspension became public. And Omar, thanks so much for joining me. It's nice to be here. Let's talk about uh, your relationship with Ryan Braun, with Ryan Braun, Surge Restaurant Group. You've severed ties with him, but you personally are still friends with him. How did that come about? You know, we had talked about it. Um, it w when it first happened, you know, it was, we were pretty, I was pretty shocked um, and disappointed. And so, you know, we, we talked about it and we worked through it. But, you know, at the end of the day, we had to do what we felt was best for our business to cut ties. Um, on a personal level, though, I, we still are friends, you know, and, and uh, I've forgiven him. Uh, it's been a little bit of a process, but I really believe that's the first step in the healing process for us. And, uh, you know, I, he's really working hard to get, regain our trust and my trust and, and I think a lot of people's trust in this community. And, um, you know, I, I just I don't ignore all, all the good things that we can't ignore all the good things that he has done for this community. So um, I believe in second chances and we're definitely staying friends. Mm. How difficult uh, of a decision was it for you to make to sever ties? I mean, Graffito is going to close at the end of the year and mm. then 812 in Brookfield is now a different restaurant. How difficult was that decision to make for you? It wasn't easy. Uh, you know, when, when, you, when you establish a friendship with somebody, you know, it's not easy to cut them as a business partner. So it was a very difficult uh, process for me since uh, I think I know him better than uh, my partner, Mike Pulaski. But uh, we had to do what was in the best interest for our businesses. Mm -hmm. so. And you still talk to Ryan Braun on a fairly regular basis. What has he told you to try to regain your trust and, your, and keep your friendship? Sure. Well, it started with an apology. Um, after after this all went down and um, sort of explained to me what happened and everything and it's been a process but uh, you know he's really trying to make things right and uh, I know he's trying to make things right with a lot of people so you know I I'm not perfect <laughs> I make a lot of mistakes I don't know anybody that is perfect and um, I think that's what sometimes friendship is about is understanding that people make mistakes and, and giving them another chance and uh, I think that's really the important part with this healing process and is Aaron Rodgers still part of the relationship with Surge, or has that changed as well with the renaming of the restaurant in Brookfield? No, you know, the partnership with Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is as strong as ever, you know, and Mike and I talked and uh, talked with Aaron, and, and we felt that it was better and more powerful for Aaron to be involved in our overall brand, opposed to just one restaurant or one concept. And, um, you know, Aaron does, does great things for this community. And I, like I said before, he's just inspiring with the types of things he does with the Mac Fund and the families and the children that he helps. And Mike and I are committed to helping a lot of families and children through our foundation, Surge Cares. So we just feel it's a great partnership to, to be able to work together, and we, we believe we can have a bigger impact um, working together. And the new restaurant then in Brookfield is called Home? Home, yes. So it's going to highlight the, the best of Wisconsin. Um, we're going to use a lot of the local farmers, um, artisans, a lot of the local breweries and you know sort of support our local economy and creating a concept that that is hospital like you're coming you know coming into somebody's home and uh, using a lot of beef pork produce from Mike Pulaski's farm the co-owner of Surge um, and so you know he has a farm two hours from here in New London and uh, the menu is going to be spectacular I can't wait to roll that out so currently we're still open right now um, it's operating under the 812 menu it's called home but um, we're rolling out a new menu October 7th, and the decor will be changing in the next 30 days. But, but this menu is going to be, be a little bit different, you know, inspired by each season and uh, a lot of that $15, $17, $19 range entrees, so it's a very approachable menu. All right. Well, Omar, thank you so much for your time and for speaking with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah.